Soft engineering strategies are less intrusive and much more environmentally friendly than hard engineering methods. So let's see how they work to protect the coastline. Soft engineering approaches try to work with the natural coastal processes and tend to be cheaper and more sustainable. Beach nourishment is probably the most widely used soft engineering approach to coastal protection. Shingle and sand is dredged from offshore and brought to the coastline where it's moved and shaped by bulldozer. This process is known as reprofiling. The process is relatively cheap and the material blends in well with the local environment. This may, however, need to happen every few years as longshore drift may transport the beach material away if there are no groins built to hold the material in place. By creating a higher and wider beach, greater protection is given to the land and property immediately behind the beach, whilst creating a great amenity for tourism. Sand dunes are really effective in buffering the sea, but the marron grass which binds the dunes together can be damaged or destroyed by people as they walk over the dunes. Marum grass can be replanted on sand dunes to help stabilise them, a process known as dune regeneration. The process is relatively cheap and creates a natural environment which is popular for wildlife as well as people. However, dune regeneration may need to be done every few years if people trample over the dunes. It can be a time-consuming process and the dunes can get damaged by storms. To protect sand dunes and encourage new growth, fences can be put up on the seaward side of the dunes. This is cheap and has a low environmental impact, whilst controlling public access, but can be a bit unsightly whilst the fences need regular attention, particularly following storms. Managed retreat is a policy of deliberately allowing the sea to erode and flood low-value land, letting the natural processes take place and not using hard engineering strategies to prevent the encroachment. Managed retreat can help with the development of natural salt marshes that will gradually form a natural buffer to the sea whilst developing wildlife habitats that may encourage tourism in the future. By locating the area of managed retreat, the development of new inland embankments can go ahead to alter the coastline. This is a process known as coastal realignment and can help protect roads, settlements and farmland. There is a need to constantly monitor the coastline in order to determine whether it needs further protection. And choosing what type of protection it needs, hard or soft, is a big decision for the people who live and work along our dynamic coast.